Bless This House is a famous British comedy from the 70s, bringing laughter to millions of viewers. But have you ever wondered what the stars who made this movie a success are like now? Join us in looking back at the journey from the golden age of actors in Bless This House to their current lives. Let's explore the interesting and unexpected changes of the familiar faces like Sid James, Diana Copeland, and Sally Kaysen from the small screen to everyday life. Don't miss this fascinating journey of discovery. Sally Gayson plays Sally Abbott when she was 21 years old in 1971. Sally Abbott is a young, dynamic girl who always keeps up with the fashion trends. She often worries her parents with her relationships and interests. After filming, Sally Gayson continued her acting career with many roles in other films and TV shows. She also became the representative face of many famous brands. Now at 74, she has become a teacher, specializing in teaching children with special needs. She lives happily with her family and still maintains youthfulness and enthusiasm. Is that all you can say to your father who's been out all day slogging his head off? Can I have my allowance? Can I have my dinner? It's in the oven. What do you want me to do, climb in the oven? I'm having a great time, thank you. You've obviously met fans uh, this morning and perhaps before. Have you had any particularly memorable fan encounters? Any strange ones, any funny ones, any ones that meant a lot? Patsy Rowland played Betty Lewis when she was 40 years old in 1971. Betty Lewis is a devoted wife and close friend of Jean Abbott. She always stands behind her husband and family to support her and is also Jean's reliable companion. After filming, Patsy Rowland continued her acting career with many roles in the series Carry On and other TV shows. She is also involved in charity activities and has become an active supporter of cancer charities. She passed away in 2005 at 74 due to cancer. Her life and career are always remembered with respect and love from fans and colleagues. Will, will you come in, please? Thanks. Do you do things on the side? Eh? Hey? You know. I've got a sore throat. Sore throat? You've got a sore throat? Ah, oh, it's hard to speak properly when your throat hurts, isn't it, Steve? Sidney James plays Sid Abbott when he was 58 in 1971. Sid Abbott is a jovial man who avoids unwanted work and enjoys spending time at the pub or watching football. After the series, Sidney James continued his acting career with many roles in the Carry On series. He became an icon of British comedy, love for his humor and charm. Sadly, he passed away in 1976 at 62 due to heart attack while performing on stage. His life and career are always remembered with respect and love from fans. His contribution to the entertainment industry left a profound mark and continued to be honored through generations. There's been a lot of burglaries lately. Nearly every house without a dog round here has been broken into. We will have to teach the budgie to bark. <laughs> Don't be silly. Well, I guess. Script by Kilroy, no doubt. <laughs> you enjoy making those, sir? Oh, yes, yeah, great fun. I love it. I love it. What I want to... Uh, Glenn Edwards played Motorcycle Policeman when he was 40 years old in 1971. Motorcycle Policeman is a serious, responsible, and law-abiding character. After completing the film, he continued his acting career with many roles in other films and TV shows. He is famous for his role as Dave Harris in the series Minder. Sadly, he passed away in 2018 at 87. His life and career are always remembered with respect and love from fans and colleagues. <laughs> No. You've done a good job here. That's the lot that was hijacked of a lorry. It was our year. And um, I thought, you know, I've done my best. I'm only going to be a big fish in a very small pond here. So I came back to England. Diana Copeland played Jean Abbott when she was 43 years old in 1971. Jean Abbott is a smart, patient wife who knows how to convince her husband. She always stood behind and supported Sid and his family and was a close friend of Betty Lewis. After filming, Diana continued her acting career with many roles on TV and film. She is also involved in charity activities and has become an active supporter of heart charities. She passed away in 2006 at 78 following her heart surgery. Her life and career are always remembered with respect and love. She left a memorable legacy in the hearts of fans and colleagues. It wasn't exactly fun for me. I come home from the pictures full of romance and desire. I put one foot in the bedroom door and my husband attacks me with a rolling pin. <laughs> and uh, certainly I'd only done one episode of a, of a sitcom before, so I, I knew nothing about comedy. Georgina Moon played Emma when she was 22 years old in 1972. 
Emma is a young, energetic girl who always brings joy to everyone around her. After completing the film, Georgina Moon continued her acting career with many roles in other films and TV shows. She is also involved in many charity activities and has become an active supporter of children's charities. Now, Georgina Moon is 74 years old and lives happily with her family, still maintaining her youthfulness and enthusiasm. I feel awful, Uncle said. Oh, you don't have to worry about it. I've fixed a lovely reception for you. Oh, I'm sure you have. But it's not the reception I'm worried about. No? It's after the reception. Everybody says we never had any idea yeah. that, that it, some things would turn out, I suppose Doctor Who's yeah. and things mm -hmm. and everything, that would turn out... Ronnie Brody played Henry when he was 55 in 1973. Henry is a funny and friendly French character who always brings laughter to everyone around him. He appeared in the episode Etente Not So Cordiale and left a deep impression on the audience thanks to his humor and charm. After the series, Ronnie Brody continued his acting career with many roles in films and TV shows, including The Benny Hill Show and Death's Army. He also participated in many stage plays and became a familiar face in the British entertainment industry. Sadly, he passed away in 1991 at 72 due to heart disease. I grabbed this chef by the collar and I poured the minestrone all over his head. <laughs> then I go to the boss and I grab him by the throat and I wrap. Robin Stewart played Mike Abbott when he was 25 years old in 1971. Mike Abbott is a passionate young man who always participates in protests and avoids work. After the series, Robin Stewart continued his acting career and then moved to Australia, where he participated in many TV shows and movies. He became a familiar face on the small screen and was loved for his enthusiasm and acting talent. Sadly, he passed away in 2015 at 69 due to complications from lung disease and a stroke. His life and career are always remembered with respect and love from fans. Robin Stewart has left a deep impression in the hearts of the audience through many memorable roles. <laughs> I just can't make it. I mean, I've got to watch, stay and watch that thing, haven't I? I mean, I promise, Dad, and I do need my allowance. Tell you what, why don't you bring it with you? Oh, let me see. Ivan Beavis played Charlie when he was 46 in 1972. Charlie is a supporting character with a humorous and likable personality. After filming, Ivan Beavis continued his acting career with many roles in other films and TV shows. He also participated in many stage plays and became a familiar face in the British entertainment industry. Sadly, he passed away in 1997 at 71 due to lung disease. His life and career are always remembered with respect and love from fans and colleagues. Sorry man, I just didn't see it. Of course you didn't see it. <laughs> it's got so that it lies down every time so Anthony Jackson played Trevor Lewis when he was 27 years old in 1971. Trevor Lewis is a friendly neighbor and close friend of Sid Abbott. He often participates in humorous and complicated plans with Sid. After completing the series, Anthony Jackson continued his acting career with many roles on TV and stage. He also voiced many popular animated shows, including the animals of Farthing Wood. Sadly, he passed away in 2006 at 62 due to complications from heart disease. His life and career are always remembered with respect and love from fans and colleagues. Hello, G. Just thought I'd uh, pop round for a quick slurp. Common twit. <laughs> hey, like the tea set, Sid. You do? Yeah. Grace Soper played Angela when she was 26 years old in 1971. Angela is a smart, agile character who is always willing to help others. After filming, Grace Soper continued her acting career and singing career with many roles on stage and TV. She is best known for her role in the musical Godspell and her role as a narrator in the children's TV show The Flums. Now, she is 79 years old and continues to participate in art projects and lives happily with her family. Sorry, but I think I left my handbag in the studio. Oh, go. We'll come through the kitchen. It's quicker. Come on, quick. Hello. Oh, do I know you? Yes, my brother. Robert Raglan played George Humphreys when he was 63 in 1972. George Humphreys is a supporting character but left a deep impression on the audience thanks to his serious and responsible personality. After filming, Robert Raglan continued his acting career with many roles in other films and TV shows. He also participated in many stage plays and became a familiar face in the British entertainment industry. He passed away in 1985 at 76. His life and career are always remembered with respect and love from fans and colleagues. They fly all over the place. <laughs> 
Yes, well, forget about them now. No, you can't leave them lying around, you know. Now sit down and listen to me. John Comer played Barman when he was 48 in 1972. Barman is a funny and likable character who always knows how to make customers feel comfortable. After filming, John Comer continued his acting career with many roles in other films and TV shows. Unfortunately, he passed away in 1984 at 59 due to nasopharyngeal cancer. His life and career are always remembered with respect and love from fans and colleagues. Who is it? It's a bird. A bird? Go on, get in there, sis. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite character in Blastic Sounds and what do you think when some actors have passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.